So it's very hard this one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 very good. Tishan, Tishan. Je je daně? Ne, je je tajný vás. Je je daně. I was born uh, in Buenos Aires, Argentina, in a working class neighbor uh, called La Boca. From the beginning of the 20th century, uh, arrived in the vicinity, many immigrants, most of them from Italy. Uh, they have the ability, some of them, uh, to paint, to make all paintings. So, even if you don't like, uh, you will find always somebody painting, and later they will become very famous names in the Argentinian art market. When I moved to Brazil in 1982, I became an artist. My work were very well accepted in the big art market. Since then, I made, I made many one-man shows in Tokyo, Japan, in the Chung Yong Yang Museum, in Seoul, South Korea, many in New York, United States, and of course in Brazil when in 2012, in a coordinated work between the Rabia Gallery and the Ministry of Culture of Brazil, my art book was published with a great success. My formation as a classical painter allowed me to appreciate the delicate work of the Chinese ceramics. I was fascinated by the amazing combination of shapes and paintings that were made uh, over the clay based objects. As a result of this appreciation, in 2011 I decided to visit Jindajen, the cradle of the porcelain, a city full of surprises. One of the countless surprises is to see the street lights decorated with large cylinders of blue and white porcelain. This just happened here and nowhere else in the world. I made the work called Birdland, uh, an allegory to the migrant birds consists in a big pot from where 33 stainless steel posts are holding egg-shaped bird houses in blue and white porcelain. 
with the important help and patience of my former assistant, Ms. Jahan, it took almost three years to finish. So this is the, the word. Here gonna be a stick where the birds sit on the top. When they come, if, if instead to come straight there, they're gonna have a ceramic uh, stick. The clouds, they look very easy, but they are not easy at all. They have a, a, a movement, the curves, and the line, the extent of each line is different one to the other with the opposition in, of another uh, shape in 180 degree opposition. Without the stimulus of my wife Yvonne and some friends' encouragement, this work would be impossible to be carried out. Within the gym, some people are very important to me, like my friends Peng Shorong and Xu Lan Xiong, clad, always ready to bear me a hand when I need it. I will meet them in Fanjaji market. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Okay? Yeah, Hello. Nice to you? see you. How are you? Everything okay? Hello. Yes, yes. How are you? This is a place where you can find shops uh, selling replicas of antique ceramics. In the same way? Yeah, it's made in the same way as the Yuan Dance people make. We keep the same tradition, the same culture. During the visit to the market, Claire explained that these pieces are made in the exactly same way than 1,000 years ago. Because in this way they preserve their traditions, their art skills, and above all they are making the ceramics because they are beautiful. Beauty is the key word. Beauty that excels for the artist's hands and surround them in a fascinating way, making possible to continue to prosper in the same way throughout hundreds and hundreds of years. Yes. Yes. And uh, here you see the clouds. When you see something like that, you are related. You see, mm, I, I like this. You know, I like this. Why? You don't know why you like this, but you like. The ceramic products should be perfect. If not, in most of the occasion, they will be broken and discarded. Sometimes they are used in the street as decorative accents on the sidewalks. Some people use the fragment to make jewelry or just collect them when they find uh, nice or rare figures painted on them. So I come now to my friend Wu shop. Mm. He made jewelry and he also sells these fragments. People pay yes, for these things. So we can see many pieces, very, very interesting pieces here. Look at this one. Guangxi. Guangxi. Qing. Qing Dynasty. So it's another way. Qing Dai, Kangxi. Qing Dynasty Kangxi. Very beautiful piece. In my visit to the Fulian River, I found fragments dated back to the 900s. It's a beautiful design. Oh, that is not in the movie. <laughs> Since last year, with the help of my new assistant, Guraichi, and my friend Pong, we were collecting from shops and factories discard pieces of porcelain 
to be used in my works. Five. This is five, five and a half. So let's go on. What is this? In some of the blue and white broken pieces, I found symbols that I use as a subject of my works. We find this double circle from the Yuan dynasty in the bottom of the, of the bowls. And I believe that after in the 1700s or Kangxi emperor, they use as a symbol in the bottom of the bowls also, just two lines. Sometimes they are used just in decoration in the top. I believe that with Kangxi, every emperor they put a symbol under the bowls. But in this case, they put just two lines. I still have to study and to try to learn from where they came from and which was the meaning of this one. But this also going to be part, I want to show this in Jindajeng as part of my recognition to the city that uh, bring me a lot of uh, happiness. And this one, the show, also we found in the river, means long life, 100 or 1,000 years of good life, uh, healthy life. So from here, I move to here. The shapes come to us uh, when we're born. And, uh, and they are very, uh, it's like a connection between, you know, the human being and something superior in beauty. The Jinken village was established during the Southern Song Dynasty around 900 years ago. You see the water mill and here the percussive deepening of restless hammer striking the China stone in the same way that centuries ago is a mound blowing experience. This place 但是到了南宋了,北宋后期南宋了,它就这里不少了。嗯。那就搬到古田那边去。啊,南宋的时候。但是它继续生产这个瓷石。这是加工那个瓷石干的洞,洞,洞。一直生产到今,上了世纪六
，就一千七百多度。那么那个那个，嗯，油火才一千三百度，对，烧烧不了它的。它虽然是粘的，但是其实上它它是很硬的东西。嗯，这是宋代，宋代也喝酒，茶就茶，就茶盏，对。喝酒还是喝茶？ They were happy drinkers. For wine, yeah, this is for wine. So, yeah, this is called Dolly. Dolly, this is this is for eating things. It's not very big. 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 这个这个 ，the most beautiful part is the glass. Ah, you see the color of the glass. 很漂亮，就就跟跟一潭春水一样，那个那个给人感觉很美。Like a water in the spring. Yeah. Working in the space called Tao Shichuan. Or the Saravic Avenue is a unique experience. Made it possible by the great investment of the local government during the last years uh, is a place where the past meets the present in a very impressive way. Of the antique factory and kiln were preserved. Around them coexist a magnificent, magnificent exhibition center. International artist studio and contemporary ceramic artist shops displaying the history of the city and the enthusiasm of the young generations. In the Jain is one of the few shelters of the man-made beauty in the world. The abundance of dexterity and skills are plentiful in this place. From the ancient villas of Jinkang to the modern complex of Tao Shi Chuan, the spirit of beauty remains alive. One day my mother, uh, that sometimes she used to make drawings to us, she, she made the drawing of a figure, very simple, and uh, was a cat. And she asked us, what is that? It's a cat. Of course it's a cat. So, but at this time I believe that the door opens to another reality between what you have in your mind and what is the real world. There's another thing. The winter there is very humid and cold, so we didn't have anything to play. Uh, so I used to sit at the doorsteps of my house and look at the sky and try to see figures uh, with the wind and the sunlight is changing constantly, uh, the tip of the trees and waiting for, oh, what, what's next? What figure is going to come next? So it was another world, just pure fantasy. What about the images I saw and what is real? So the question was, uh, what about if I can transfer my imagination to, to something more real? Uh, I wish. I can do that. So that was the question. I wish I can do that and how I can do that. Anyway, that is the beginning of a long story.
but always inside me was the need to express the other reality in some kind of art form. And then the time came when I chose what I call the path of the clouds. You don't need to grow feathers to reach the sky. You can bring the sky to your soul.